welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i'm here in a very sunny blackpool check out these blue skies we've got here today you are looking at me through my new dash cam it's a viofo a229 pro 4k dash cam which has very kindly been sent to me so what i thought i'd do in this video is we'll test it out here in blackpool we'll take a look at the sights in beautiful crystal clear 4k it's a sony starvis sensor a starvis 2 sensor hdr recording the dash cam can also be controlled by voice commands as well but not only that check this out it's also got a rear camera as well check it out you're looking at me now through the 2k resolution rear camera i'll go into that a little bit later the resolution of this camera it's around about half of the resolution of the front camera but you never know do you there might be something going on behind you know god forbid anything happens but you might catch something behind that you miss at the front so it might be worth you having a rear camera as well we've got even more now then check this out look at this i've even got an internal camera as well now this might not be so useful for me well actually i think it probably would be for videos this is a 1080p so less resolution again it doesn't really need to be as much resolution as the front camera the front camera is the main camera 4k we've got 2k at the rear and this internal camera is 1080p but it's probably more than enough to capture what goes on inside the vehicle let's say that you're a taxi driver or something like that that's where this internal camera could come in useful but anyway let's go back to the front now and i'll tell you what we're going to do right okay so you're now looking at me again in glorious 4k hdr resolution through the viofo a229 pro camera and what i thought i'd do is let's give it a good test let's have a drive around blackpool shall we i'll show you the sights and what i want to do is i want to give it a really good test as well i want to test the resolution of course i mean i want to test it against my other camera my existing dash cam which is a 1080p camera which is a really really good camera actually but i want to put it up against that and show how much better the 4k resolution will be and not only that having a sony sensor now sony are very good at making camera sensors and it's got a starvis sensor in it which means that it's going to be particularly good i believe at night they say that these sensors are very good in low light so we'll be checking that out okay so what i'm going to do first is we'll have a little drive around on the promenade first we'll, we'll see what it's like initially and then what i'll do is i'll do an unboxing for you i'll show you what's in the box i'll try and explain a little bit more about the dash cam itself let's take a little drive along the promenade for an initial test and then i'll do the unboxing i don't want to bore you with the unboxing or anything like that first so let's just get out on the road now and give it a bit of an initial test and then we'll do the unboxing okay so here we go we're now on the road with the vofl a229 pro dash cam and uh, this is a bit of an initial test uh, i'll be back on the road again at the 15 and a half minute mark if you want to skip the unboxing bit but this is just a quick test as you can see we're in sunny blackpool here we've got information at the bottom of the screen we've, on the bottom left we've got the speed how fast i'm going hopefully i don't <laughs> speed keep an eye on that we've got the coordinates down there as well 53 degrees north three degrees to the west here in blackpool but we're just approaching the promenade now so we're getting a little look now at the dash cam uh, nice quality hdr mode down there on the bottom right you can see the date as well i filmed this back in april yeah as we go past the famous blackpool mirror ball we've also got the time down there as well we've got all the information and don't forget that if you need to get anything off the dash cam itself you can use the app on the phone i've got a phone app and uh, that's for android and apple of course and it's quite easy to link up to the dash cam and if you get anything interesting you can just download it onto your phone we're looking behind now might not be quite level this camera looking in fact it's upside down i had to flip it now i don't think it matters which way around you put the camera it will correct itself but for some reason it didn't correct itself on this occasion so you see the the writing there or the, the text was wrong way around because i had to flip 
the camera but that was just a minor point hopefully i think i get that right later on but we're now going fast so past should i say the famous pleasure beach here in blackpool looking a bit quiet at this time of year it was um well it was late april wasn't it, it was a while ago now actually it's about two months uh, since i've uh, started this video but uh, here we are now we're just coming just going past the watson road area there we might even get a little look at me. oh there yeah <laughs> it's me looking very serious there actually aren't i so this is the interior camera this is a 1080p it's the least resolution of all the cameras but um it's there if you want it so if you get the triple pack which i've got you get all the cameras and I think, you know, um, you never know. I think, it, I think to be honest, I think something like that would be more for a taxi driver, maybe, you know, someone who wants to record what's going on. I've also stuck the polarizer on here. I've actually stuck the polarizer on. Now, I don't know if you run back the video and look at it without the polarizer and then with it, I, to be quite honest, I couldn't really see a whole lot of difference. Now, the polarizer is supposed to cut out reflections and that also, deepens colors if, if you ever take photographs you can get polarizing lenses for your camera and when you turn the it's amazing what a polarizer can do it can cut out reflections you can see through water you can see through glass with it as well quite easily you know sometimes when you're looking through a window and you can't see because of the reflection you use a polarizer and it helps you to see right through but i couldn't really see any um uh difference with the polarizer fun enough on that occasion but i might try it again later on but we'll see but we're now just coming around the back of the pleasure beach we're back on the front again here now we'll get a look at the the other side of the pleasure beach and uh here we are going around the back there's a car park there there's some big space uh it's not big the pleasure beach is it really as a as a sort of theme park but uh there you go that's an initial test and now the unboxing okay so here we go with the unboxing of the viofo a229 pro three channel dash cam that means three cameras you've got the front camera you've got the rear camera and you've got the interior camera as well but you can get it on its own so here we go with the unboxing sony star this sensor as well that's what sony sensors are very very good they actually make sensors for a lot of different cameras now i don't know too much about this sensor but apparently the star this sensor is very very good in low light so let's take it out of the box shall we and we'll check out this dash cam shall we here we go i'll slide that off there and i'll just put that to one side look at that there well, it's a nice box anyway here we go so there you go we've got them all wrapped up there we've got the main camera and the other two cameras there so let's start with the main camera shall we as a noisy plane flies overhead thank you very much and there we go i haven't taken off the protective seal in there but that is the back of the main camera with the screen there and we've also got the controls the play button the menu button there's also a save button if you want to save a particular file you can press a button on there to save it i think it's the center one there on the back is the sticky bit that you stick on your windscreen and this is the actual camera here and all you have to do is basically move it up and down it doesn't move left or right it just moves up and down that's all you have to do uh, there's a micro sd card slot at the side and there's also i think you attach the internal camera there um, on the top is the power that's where the power goes in your usb cable and at the side is a slot for the rear camera and I'm not really sure what that is there are, but uh, we'll probably find out. On the subject of uh, memory card, there is actually a memory card in there, but I actually got a 64 gigabyte memory card supplied with this camera, which is really, really good. Uh, it can take up to a half terabyte memory card. That's 512 gigabytes, 512 
gigabytes of memory in a dash cam that's going to save loads and loads of clips if you want to save clips i mean um, hopefully you won't be in a crash but i have a, a dash cam at the moment and i actually save loads of clips of incidents and things i see all sorts of funny things on my dash cam i like to save them you see so i press the button to save them so that's that's what i do and uh, hopefully you won't need it for like a bump or anything like that but if there is a bump this will detect it and it will save it automatically because they're, they're, they're meant to save the file if the vehicle is bumped or in a crash or anything like that so that's the dash cam there is this it is a nice looking dash cam isn't it so what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the other cameras now i'm not quite sure which one is which out of these but one of them will be uh i think i think that could be the the rear camera the one that goes on the rear window i'm not too sure let's have a look at this one i think yeah i think this is the internal camera now this is a 1080p internal camera i can tell because it's got some like infrared uh, sort of sensors on it so this is a camera that you can have facing towards you if you so wish to have that so that's that camera there oh we've also got a bluetooth um a wireless well wireless bluetooth remote control as well i also got this as well i'm not sure if this is standard but you can check that in the description but that's something else to go with it as well so let's uh, just put the dash cam down there and we'll take out this and now we've got the instructions a very very comprehensive instruction manual that goes through all the uh, all the instructions and all that sort of thing it's quite easy it's quite easy to read i'll just go through some of the specs three channel recording 4k front 2k rear 1080p interior sony starvis 2 sensor don't know a whole lot about them but i do know that they're very very good in low light so this should be a cracking dash cam at night and i'll be testing it at night and we'll be seeing how good it is voice control as well it says here on the back gps logger and you can also uh, use an app on your phone as well so you can view the videos on your phone so you don't have to scroll through the you don't have to scroll through the, the videos on here and, and and bend your neck to, to you know to try and see the video it's very very hard to to view videos on a dash cam inside a car so you can actually look at them you can download the videos to your phone that's that's really really good that is i'm i'm uh, i'm quite uh, pleased to hear about that in this bag here we've got a load of stickers You've also got spare stickers as well just in case you mess around you, you, just in case you mess up with the with the first one and registration of course for your guarantee there's just uh, a load of wires now we've got um that's a usb c cable and we've got the wire that goes from the, the to the back i think that could be the wire that goes all the way to the back now i did see techmon's channel and he um he likes these uh these dash cams he actually that is his favorite dash cam now if it's good enough for techno it's good enough for me but he did say that you can get different types of wires that are a little bit thinner than these he said he struggled a bit with these wires to put them in the car but uh, that is a quite a thick cable and it's very long as well and it's certainly long enough to get from the front to the back but you're gonna have to sort of pull your trim up and put it under the carpet and under the trim and all that it's gonna take a little bit of work to do that but hopefully we'll, we'll get to it and uh, th that looks like the power lead or something that you plug into your cigarette lighter we've also got a, a tool here for lifting up the trim on your vehicle for putting that this big thick cable that techmon was worrying of was it uh, was should i say moaning about he preferred the thinner cable that they got with the older model so uh that's going to be fun to to uh, to see oh hello it's ice cream time <laughs> it's all going off around here so that's the tool you use to uh, to 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 get your trim off your vehicle so you can hide the cable now there's one last thing i want to show you before we head out and fit this camera and that is this here and thank you this here is a polarizing filter now this is a bit of a bonus feature folks a polarizing filter helps to increase contrast what it does is it 
it kind of redirects the sun rays or it blocks some of the sun rays and it enables you to see much more deeper colours because it cuts out a lot of reflections on vehicles, on buildings, on glass. The only downside to a polarizer is that I think it could affect the vision at night because polarizers do take a little bit of light. They do they do soak up a little bit of light, so it might just decrease the nighttime performance. That's the only thing I'm going to say about the polarizer, but we will try it out and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, without further ado. The Viofo A229 Pro. Let's fit this camera and then we can get out on the road and try it out. Okay, here we go. We're now on Blackpool Promenade again and check it out. We've got a disability scooter coming up on the inside. I'm watching it, I'm watching it. I've got my eyes on it. There you go. Oh, you see it all in Blackpool, don't you? And this dash cam, well, you're not going to miss a whole lot with it, but we're now traveling along Blackpool Promenade in the sunshine and um, you can see the date down there it's a different date as you can see I'm filming this on a different day to the last one and this was quite a bit later actually but I'm just giving you a look as well this is the view from my existing dash cam which I've got and just to give you a bit of a, a look at this one as well between the two now that's a 1080p dash cam, so the, the quality of that one shouldn't be as good. I actually think that my existing dash cam is pretty good, actually, the quality, but um, this one being a 4K, you should definitely get a whole lot more detail from this VOFO dash cam with it being a 4K dash cam. So we're just making our way along. We've got the Landau's there. Look, I'm going to be taking it around a few parts of Blackpool. I want to give it a good test. So we're out in the sunshine at the moment, nice and sunny day, perfect, look at me there, look I'm just chilling there, aren't I there, yeah, taking in the sights of the golden mile there, yeah, and uh, here's a look behind, the camera that looks behind does look a little bit darker, we're back on the forward view again now, we can see it's very busy isn't it? But yeah, I want to take you around as many parts of Blackpool as I can, and of course I want to go out at night as well, just to give it a bit of a... A triathlon and look at that Lambo on the right. Oh, look at that, a Lamborghini there. Look, listen, listen. Did you see it? There it goes. There you go. We've got all. Hey, it catches everything. This, these cameras, you know. Yeah, it's really, really impressive, isn't it? Look at Blackpool Tower there. We're about to go past Blackpool Tower. It's a super wide angle as, as well. I'm not quite sure how wide but it's typical dash cam it, it it's meant to be really wide and capture quite a lot that goes on in front of it so it, it you know just in case anything's slightly off center you will hopefully capture it enough and it having the 4k as well means you've got that um, detail you could probably take a screenshot and be able to crop in you know, if you needed to get a number plate or something like that, you would be able to crop the picture, take a screenshot and crop in, and that could be quite important for insurance. So the, I'm gritting my teeth a bit there, aren't I? <laughs> I'm, I'm admiring the Blackpool Tower. But here's a look behind again. What a nice day we've got in Blackpool, yeah. And this was back in early May as well. And look at people, look. <laughs> I can't believe that people are walking around in uh, t-shirts in early May because I didn't think it was that warm in early May. But uh, there you go, half past four in the afternoon as you can see, we've got the information all down there. So here we go, past the Blackpool Tower there, look. I wish I could show you the Blackpool Tower but uh, it doesn't quite angle up that way. <laughs> we got to see it before anyway. So yeah, as you can see, the quality is pretty good. We're just stuck behind the bus at the moment. It's always very slow along this part of Blackpool Promenade. And if you stick with me, I will be taking you to some other parts of uh, Blackpool as we try out this dash cam. I am very impressed with it. Uh, don't forget that you can buy it on its own. You don't have to buy all the all three cameras. You can just buy the the, the front facing 4k 
dash cam just on its own but uh, we've just gone past Blackpool Tower now and uh, just coming up on the left hand side is that building there it's a wedding chapel yeah so there you go a little look at Blackpool in the sunshine here's a look behind oh there you go Blackpool Tower yeah we're leaving Blackpool Tower we're leaving it behind Ten eighty P rear camera. Sorry, not ten eighty P, I meant to say two K. It's a two K rear camera. It's like half the resolution of the front camera. So we'll just let these people go across the crossing and we're now gonna to head towards the north pier. There you go, the north pier. Straight ahead is the cenotaph. So there you go, we're leaving. We're leaving Blackpool Tower. Say bye bye to Blackpool Tower. I'm now heading off the promenade now. I'm heading into Talbot Square. Anyway, now change of scenery. We are now at Stanley Park and I've stuck the polarizer on. Look at this blue sky, just look. Now I've taken the polarizer off. And now I put the polarizer on. Can you see a difference? You know what? I think I can. I actually think I could see a difference there with the polarizer there. So it does come with the polarizer if you wish to use it. But I do think that I could see the difference on that particular Recording. video there. And now check it out, we're now up by the water tower. Did you see that video I did of the office fire? Because that was up this way as well. I've hardly ever come up this way on the channel. So I thought, well, let's go up here and try out the dash cam, shall we? Because there's, uh, it's actually quite a nice part of Blackpool as well. It's high up, of course. It's the highest natural point. And I thought what I'd do is I would take a little look around here. And as you can see, when I film this, we're back in April again, because we've got the date down there. It says 28th of April. So I'm all over the place when I'm filming this, aren't I? <laughs> Let's have a little look behind. Can you see the water tower there? Yeah, there you go, yeah. So we're going into this new housing estate now. It's called Regency Gardens. And this used to be uh, a farm and allotments back in the old, well, not that, not that long ago, actually, around about the millennium, I think or just after the millennium when they built all these new houses here, yeah, yeah. But just look at it, it's, it, it's a nice picture, isn't it? It is a really bit of flair there, understandably. Sometimes when you point the camera towards the sun, you do get some flair, but it's, it's, not, it's not too bad, really. Okay, here we go. I am now on the motorway. I'm just coming off the M55 motorway. You might be able to tell. It's looking pretty dark. So this is the night test, folks. In fact, I am returning from photographing the Aurora. Do you remember when we had that really bright Aurora? Well, I am coming back from there. And in fact, I'm limping back because the alternator on my van is failing and I've got battery lights flashing, I've got lights flashing all over the place and it's going mental there. I'm just about managing to get home. And anyway, here's a look inside, there's me there. I'm looking a bit worried actually. I'm wearing a head torch because I used the head torch to see what I was doing when I was out in the dark photographing the Aurora. But as you can see, it's a really bright um, image inside the cab there using that interior camera. That works really, really well. But I am limping back home here, folks. So I've just been out to photograph the Aurora. I'm coming back. It's about 10 past one, as you can see down there on the right hand side. We've got the information there with the time. And uh, I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure if I was going to make it back or my, my van was going to conk out. Here's a little look behind. So uh, I was quite happy to get off the motorway, I can tell you that much. But Anyway, how are we looking? We're now coming along Preston New Road. This is like the old way into Blackpool. Can you see the windmill on the left-hand side there? There's a windmill there. Just gone past the windmill. 
This is the old way into Blackpool. It's the way you used to come into Blackpool before the motorway was built. A lot of people now tend to go the other way, the central way, Eden way along the embankment. That seems to be the favorite route for most people. But how we're looking, here's the look behind. I'm just about, just about getting back here with the lights flashing all over the place. I, do I look a bit worried? I should do. Uh, there you go. Anyway, do I make it back? Yeah, so I just about managed to limp back home. My alternator had failed on the van and I just about made it home there, yeah. And the dash cam recorded the drama on the way back. I was out photographing the Aurora Borealis. It was absolutely amazing. I just want to show you a couple of pictures that I took while I was out there. Just look at these pictures here, the motorway there with the Lancaster services. Oh, amazing. You could easily see it with the naked eye. I even took a selfie as well. Now, the most amazing thing is, is that the dash cam didn't actually pick up the Aurora. And you do see a lot of videos now where dash cams pick up all kinds of things. They pick up meteorites. With it. That Remember that one in Russia, that what that Chelyabinsk meteorite that one came down to over Russia. Well, loads of people on dash cam caught that, didn't they? So they're capturing so many things now, and that's the beauty of a dash cam. You can capture all kinds of things, but not quite the Aurora. It wasn't really quite uh, sensitive enough to capture that Aurora display. But anyway, I managed to get home, and as you can see, I'm in the van now, and I've actually got the dash cam there. It's kind of in a bit of an awkward position in the middle of the windscreen, which isn't great on the passenger side. The reason why I put it there is just temporarily I've got my existing dash cam here built into the mirror and what I really want to do is have that on my side of the window you can see all the wires coming off that wire there goes to the rear camera there's a power lead that hangs down there now I will fit this properly myself when I've got time and we've also got another uh, wire there which goes across to the internal camera but I just wanted to try and um, show you some of the features it's got uh, at the moment we've got a video screen on there it's quite small it's not it's not brilliant but you do have the app we have the app here which you can use you can you can look at the pictures on the app you can also download the video to the app as well it has voice control let's try the voice control and see if it works now so see if i can turn that screen off turn off screen so the screen has just gone off turn it back on again turn on screen turn on screen second time of asking you can also instruct the camera to lock a video so let's say something happens you see something going on and you want to lock the video because if you're not in a bump the camera's not going to lock a video it'll only lock a video on its own if you're in if it detects a bump or something like that but if you want to lock a video for any reason you just say let's see if this works lock the video there you go there was a beep there and that means that it has now protected what i've just recorded there so it'll re protect all three cameras and i've set it up as well using the app i've set it up to record three minute clips now it was defaulted at one minute clips but there was far too many clips to go through so i set it to three minutes you can set it to five minutes you can set it to even longer okay now we've also got the bluetooth uh, remote here which can be placed somewhere on the dash dashboard maybe there somewhere where it's fairly easy to press it there's a button on there and if you press that button that's another way of locking the video so if i press that button now can you hear that it's now protected the video by pressing the button on the bluetooth remote so there's a there you go that's another way of locking the video that's really really good actually and if you want to review the videos if you want to look through them you just go on the app there's loads and loads of settings here on the app. You've got the resolution settings, of course. Loop recording, as I said before, you can go from one minute up to 10 minutes. I have it set to, to three minutes. Um, exposure value, that's the thing, exposure value. You can overcompensate the exposure if you think it needs it. So I thought the rear camera was a little bit dark on some of those other videos, the early videos. So if you think it's a little bit dark, you can overcompensate the camera a little bit to brighten it up. Or if you think it's too bright, you could lower uh, the exposure. You can also um, 
change the sensitivity of the sensor which means sometimes you could go off a bump in the road and it would record it so you could go over plenty of potholes around now isn't there so you can change that obviously you can change the, the time you can change the bit rate currently the bit rate on this is set to normal if you were to raise the bit rate to maximum arguably you would get a better finer quality video or picture off the dash cam but that's just a another way that you can another thing that you can do all, all on, on the app it's very easy to do there's also the parking mode feature as well which i'm not going to go into I'm, I'm not too sure what that is to be honest i'll have a look at it another time but uh, for this video it's just all about the dash cam itself i think it's a cracking dash cam the the vofo a229 i'm looking forward to using this I'll probably get rid of the, the one I've got in the mirror. I'll probably relocate this somewhere else. I'll put all the cables in. Anyway, I hope I've covered everything for you. And if you're interested in getting a dash cam like this, I'll put a link in the description so you can get one for yourself. Remember as well, it can take up to half a terabyte SD card, which is massive. That is huge. And if you're a taxi driver or, you know, a professional driver or something like that, uh, the more memory you've got, the better, because the more clips you can save, you can also record at the highest bit rate as well. So that, a, a massive card like that will allow you to record more video at the higher bit rate as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. The VOFO A229 Pro 4K dash cam you know like like i said before i catch a loads of stuff on the other dash cam that i like to save you know we'll catch a loads of stuff on this they've also got the one at the back as well you know covering the back as well so there you go anyway don't forget link in the description if you want to buy one for yourself and if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one